Okay, today I'm going to show you around the admin back end of the caddywalk.com website. So to log in as an admin, what I first want to do is come to the to the main homepage, caddywalk.com, and type in WP admin. So your URL is going to be caddywalk.com slash WP admin. And you you probably wanted to store that URL somewhere on your computer so you can just come to it really quickly. So that's going to bring you to the login page. And I've got my login information stored over here. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. I'm going to log in at a caddy user. Say you have a new caddy that you need to put into the system. You're going to come over here to add a caddy user. And you're just going to input that caddy's information, making sure to fill out as much information as possible because that information is going to be useful to you. Make sure uh, that you do have their regular email address that they check often because that's how you're going to communicate with them. That's how the system is going to send them emails um, when, when, they, when there's a new job that's been assigned to them. So make sure that you do get the email address that they check on a regular basis. So you're going to put all that information in there and then you're going to click add user. And once you do that, then that caddy that you just added is going to, it's going to show up in the uh, caddy walk um, user list here. As you can see, we have a variety of users entered in here. Some of them are just going to input, input the information here. Again, make sure that you, you use an email address that the golf course checks regularly for communication purposes. And the only other thing that's different about this page is that the golf course user has the option to upload a logo of their golf course, and they also have the option to upload a banner of their golf course. And that's going to come into play later um, on the front end of the website where the golf course logs in. Uh, they're going to be able to see their own logo and their own banner, and also the email that gets sent to the customer on behalf of caddywalk.com will actually be logoed with this particular golf course's um, branding. So it's important to make sure that, that you do upload a logo of your golf course and then a banner as well. So the next section of the admin, so if you see, when, when you see a job here, uh, you, you see the name of the caddy and it's grayed out and you can't click on it, that means that the job has been accepted already by the caddy. So there's no longer an option to change it or reassign it to another user, which is good. Whenever a job is, is newly added to the system, you'll see a select box that looks like this, and it has a list in alphabetical order of all the caddies that are currently entered in the system, uh, that are active in the system. And this way the caddy manager can come in here and go through the list and select what caddy he wants to assign this job to. Now once he assigns that job to a particular caddy, that doesn't mean that the job is confirmed. What happens is an email gets sent from the caddy walk system, this job, to this particular caddy. However, this caddy has not yet clicked on that link and gone to the page and accepted the job. Because if he had, then it would be grayed out and you would not be able to click on it. So that's basically it in a nutshell. I'll just show you the next, the next step in the process here um, on the sidebar is to add a new caddy job. And so you just click add new caddy job, which will bring you to this page. And this is a very easy form. As you can see, there's just a few fields that need to be filled out. What you're going to do is put in the customer's first name and last name and the date, the date of the job. There's a nice little pop-up calendar where you can easily navigate to what date the tea time is for. And you're going to have so you do have to kind of know um, if it's 8 a.m., then it will be 8, and, and then if it's, you know, later on in the day, then it's going to be in the teens here. So just a little bit about that. Um, not a huge deal. But then you also want to select the minutes, um, and, and then you select... Uh, one of the courses that's that's in the system. As you can see, there's just there's just a few here, uh, so we we would need to figure out what sh what course this job is for. And again, you would have that information in front of you. So you would just choose the course, 
and then you're going to say using these checkboxes here what type of a carry this job is is it a single bag carry is it a double bag or is it a four caddy is it a four caddy one is it a four caddy bad job and that's uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to adding jobs the next thing and, and we won't go over settings because at this point we're not going to change any of those anyways but I will just quickly show you about the emails here on the side. This is a really nice feature uh, that the system has where you can go in as the caddy manager and select either all caddy users or all golf users or all caddy users and all golf users and you can just send them a quick email. Um, if you just need to send out a message to all your caddies this this is a really handy way to do that. If you need to send out a message to all your golf course all your golf course users, this is a great way to do that. You just type in the subject